Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick2. Today I'm just going to be making a really quick video right before I start stream. If you want to check this pale boy streaming, um, I'm streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nick2. Love to see more of you guys around. But I just wanted to make a really quick video talking about Striker and why I don't think that it's particularly good at the moment. I already know that a lot of people are going to instantly click on the video, dislike it, and then comment saying that I that they are doing really well with Striker, and then, and then they're going to tell me to get a haircut and a whole bunch of other garbage. Um, I understand that you know a lot of people are attached to Striker. They want it to work. They want it to be good. And while you can use pretty much anything and almost succeed within this game, um, there are things that are just going to be not to sound nerdy, but straight up mathematically better than other things. And unfortunately, Striker is just one of the things that are not particularly good at the moment so let's just talk about what striker does if you don't already know and then we're going to look at all the trade-offs that you're making to make striker work as well as what you know you're actually going to be benefiting from so four piece striker from two piece you get weapon handling that isn't terrible it depends on what weapon that you're using certain weapons is going to this is going to be you know benefiting them more than others so on ars you're not going to get a lot out of this on rifles and lmgs it might help like a little bit but not by a substantial amount the three piece you get 15% rate of fire. Rate of fire is one of the best stats that you can ever get, um, admittedly. The thing about rate of fire though is that it's kind of calculated as almost a flat DPS increase. Usually there's a little bit of difference there, but I would say it's about a 14 to 15% just flat damage increase. The only thing with rate of fire though is that it being a flat damage increase is only the case if you're hitting 100% of your shots, which if you play this game at all, you just know that that isn't the case. Uh, NPCs will move around a lot. There's a lot of desync. There's a lot of lag. There's a lot of NPCs bobbing up and down. There's a lot of NPCs sitting in cover, etc., etc. So this is only a flat DPS increase if you're hitting 100% of your shots because if, you're, if your RPM goes up, but then you're missing even more of your shots per second of like missed shot, for example, like if I were to have 500 RPM and I'm shooting at a target, but then it were to move for two seconds and it takes me a second to like readjust to that target. If I'm shooting at 500 RPM, in that one second of me missing, I'm going to miss less shots than I would if I was at 1,000 RPM. Therefore, me being at 1,000 RPM isn't benefiting me as much as if the target were to just be standing still. It would actually be almost a DPS loss because I'm trading RPM for something else. Um, that's something that I don't really see a lot of people talk about, but that is a real thing within this game because a lot of NPCs are moving all over the place and you can't really hit 100% of your shots all the time. So that's something to keep in mind when you think about rate of fire. Uh, regardless though, it is still a pretty significant you know, DPS increase, but you do have to wear three pieces of striker for that to happen. The four piece is mainly what people are using it for. Uh, weapon hits amplify total weapon damage by 0.5%, stacking up to 50 times. You lose one stack every second, and three stacks are lost every time you miss. So, not very good on its own if you're just using four pieces. Most people are pretty much, it's almost mandatory if you want to run this to use it with the chest and the backpack talent. So what the chest talent does is it increases the max stacks that you can get from 50 to 100. So you can get up to 100 stacks, which is going to increase your weapon damage by 50% rather than just the, uh, f you know, 20 or yeah, the 25% that you would have because the cap would be 50 times. So this allows you to pretty much get more stacks, which means more effectiveness out of it. And then the backpack talent is almost mandatory as well. This increases the stacks loss from missed shots. When uh, when you miss a shot, instead of losing three stacks at once, you lose two stacks. So let me quickly go over what you're trading off, and then we'll talk about what it is that you're actually benefiting from in terms of, you know, like how effective is the actual talent uh, Striker's Gamble, I guess. Is that what it's called? Yeah. How effective is Striker's Gamble actually going to be? So first off, what you're trading off is, I don't know if many people know this, but on gear sets, you're losing one attribute. I don't know why they do this, but for whatever reason, gear sets always lose one attribute compared to other things. So let's take a look at my Providence chest, right? My Providence chest in total has four attributes. It has three and then a mod slot, but a mod slot counts as an attribute. Same thing here on my striker chest. I have one red attribute, a status effect, and then a mod slot. So then that is three attributes in total. Also, I'm missing a talent on my chest because I'm sacrificing my main talent for this talent. You could say, oh, well then just don't use the chest talent on striker use striker on like your holster your knee pads and then you're not losing the talent there if you want to do that whatever regardless though you're still going to be losing those red attributes and if i'm using four pieces of this that means that i'm using f i'm losing four red attributes in total because this is the same case for the mask or the backpack and the gloves i'm using a, i'm losing a red attribute 
everywhere that I go. Here's another example. On the gloves, I only have two in total, but on my other gloves, I have three in total. So already we're losing four sets of red attributes. So four red attributes in total. Let's just say that that was crit damage, right? If that's crit damage and I have max crit damage on every piece of gear that I'm running, I'm losing 48. Let's say that again, 48% crit damage, okay? If I'm at 50% crit chance, which most people are probably, that's 24% flat damage that I'm losing. That's only the red attributes, okay? We're not even taking into account the fact that you lose a talent on the chest. And on top of that, you lose a talent on your backpack. I didn't mean to flip you off. You're losing a talent on the backpack, which would be like Unstoppable Force or Vigilance um, or things like uh, Bloodsucker, maybe for survivability or Concussion, which usually those are going to average about like 10 to 20% weapon damage. You're losing that because you pretty much have to go for the backpack talent, which we'll talk more about in a minute here. That's another thing that you're losing. But you know what else you're losing? That's, that's not it. Not only are you losing two talents and four sets of red attributes, you're also losing brand set. So since I'm using four pieces, I am now using four pieces in my gear that I wouldn't otherwise be using if I were to use high end. If I were to use high end, that, that didn't make sense how I explained it. I'm using four pieces of gear that aren't brand sets. So all I'm gaining is weapon handling and rate of fire. While I said rate of fire is pretty good, weapon handling is not that good. And I'm sacrificing four potential brand set bonuses just to get rate of fire, weapon handling, and the striker buff. So what am I losing out on? Let's take a look at Providence. Three pieces of Providence, I'm losing 10 headshot, 10 crit, 15 crit damage. That's only three pieces, right? And then I'm also losing, you know, let's say that I was using like Petrov gloves or something, I'm losing 10% LMG damage. Or let's say that I wanted to use Seska, I'm losing 10% crit chance. Or I wanted to use uh, One Piece Sombra. If I wanted to use One Piece Sombra, I'm losing 15% crit damage. So that is an absolutely insane amount of crit and just flat other stats that I'm losing just to make striker work. So let's recap that real quick. I'm losing four red attributes. I'm losing the talent on my chest and my backpack, and I'm losing four brand set bonuses. In total, you could probably add that up to about 90% weapon damage just in total because you could calculate all of the crit, all of the, um, you know, chest talent. Like, I'm not even assuming you're using glass cannon on the chest. If you're using glass cannon on the chest, you're literally just losing 25% damage flat. And like, like I said, you could swap, uh, you could not use the chest or whatever if you wanted to. But also things like obliterate, you know, 15% weapon damage that you're going to have up a lot of the time. Braced is good for weapon handling, intimidate. There's so many things that you're losing. But let's talk about what you're actually gaining. So, of course, you gain the stacks. And at maximum stacks, you have 50% weapon damage. Already, that is not as much as if you were to just wear all of the high ends. That's It's not even close. But even if you assume that you, like, that's assuming you have 100% stacks all the time. And that's just not the case. So if I shoot at this NPC right now, this NPC is standing still, by the way. You can see my bar on the bottom. I'm slowly getting stacks, but I don't get them very quickly. And one thing that happens in this game is that there's a lot of lag. I don't know if you've ever noticed, like, you put down a skill or you try to use a med kit, you try to throw a grenade, anything like that. A lot of the time, you will just lag for, like, 500 to 500 milliseconds to, like, an actual second. And within that period of time, if my gun is shooting at like, you know, 850 or 920 RPM, since I have striker, how many shots am I missing per second then? So I forgot to do this math. So we're just going to whip out the calculator. I'll just explain how you do it. So 920 divided by 60, that's how many shots I'm shooting per second. I'm shooting 15 shots per second. So if I miss for one second, I'm, that's 15 shots that I just missed. That means that I would be losing 30 stacks of striker. And that's something that you really can't control. Even if the NPC is standing still, lag still plays a huge factor into it. You can see me just spraying into the NPC and it takes a second for it to like spawn back. And this happens when you're just fighting normal NPCs. You'll just, you're just losing stacks. Like I can't even reliably get above like, it looks like 10 stacks. Like a lot of the time you'll just see my stacks go down for almost no reason. But then let's say that the NPC is invincible and I'm able to just spray into it and get infinite amounts of stacks, right? So here's something that will happen is you'll have an NPC that has a lot of health and you'll spray into it. But even if the NPC moves just a little bit, you're instantly going to lose a lot of your stacks. But look how long it takes me to get all my stacks up. I'm shooting directly into this guy and I'm not even getting as many stacks as I should, right? 
you'd think that I would just instantly get to max stacks because I'm shooting so many shots, but it's taking way longer than that. So now I'm finally at max stacks, right? So let's say that I want to go and like shoot a normal guy. So I'm at max, max stacks right now. Look, just look at my bar right now. Look at it on the very bottom of my screen. I wouldn't say that my accuracy is all that bad. I'm spraying directly into these mobs and I just lost all of my stacks within a matter of seconds. So that 50% weapon damage, I just lost very quickly. And if you weren't using the backpack talent, you would lose it even more because every shot would be three miss or three stacks lost rather than two. So I don't even know what else needs to be said at this point. Even if you have literal aimbot, you're going to end up losing stacks just because of the combination of this game's lag, the NPC movement, a whole bunch of combinations of things happening. And even if the NPC is standing still, like it takes forever for you to get stacks, which I don't know why, because you only have to hit the enemy a hundred times, right, to get all your stacks. I'm shooting a round that has 85 bullets in it, and I'm not reliably getting all of my stacks. This time I did, but other times the game is just lagging. Like I'm not I'm not missing against this guy that's standing still. But every every once in a while, even if the guy's standing still, you're still going to be missing some of your shots, and that's not even your fault. It just happens to do with, you know, like the gun accuracy and a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, I'll just show me shooting these guys again. I'm just losing stacks regardless of of anything else because you have to take into account that you, you need to readjust to where the NPCs are. You Your gun is just going to miss regardless because of, like, how bad the innate accuracy is on the gun. Especially with, like, an AR or something, your bloom is just terrible. Not even to mention an SMG. If I put on an SMG right now, I don't, this is going to hurt my soul. If I have an SMG with 20 bullets, I'm literally going to take 10 years to get full stacks. And look, I'm just missing because the bloom is so large. So I'm just going to sit here and get stacks. It's taking forever. Like I can even put the put the guy to five, to 5 meters in front of me. Still going to take forever. And I'm literally losing stacks even though I'm right inside of this guy. A lot of my shots still just miss for almost no reason. You're getting more stacks. Alright, so now we're at like max stacks, right? Imagine trying to land all of your shots with the bloom like this. Look, look how fast I'm going to lose all my stacks. I'm only shooting 20 bullets. At this range, I'm still losing so many of the stacks. So I don't know. I don't really know what else needs to be said. It simply just is not worth it for the rate of fire as well as like the stack thing because you just lose the stacks, like I said, a hundred times already pretty much instantaneously. And you'd much rather just have flat damage that you never have to worry about. So on like a all high-end setup all that damage is there 100 percent of the time you don't have to work to get that damage with this build you have to work to get it you might want to like swap out you know put on a shotgun spray an npc get all your stacks up and then swap to your other gun but then you're just going to lose your stacks once you shoot like one mag and then you're going to have to swap back and do that again and you don't do any damage without the stack so yeah that's my uh review i guess on striker or reasoning as to why it's not good if you want to use it go ahead hopefully i don't get too much hate in the comments but i mean just from a purely mathematical standpoint, it's nowhere even near as close to the high-end build, and the damage is just very lackluster. So hopefully this was insightful to some of you. Um, I'm interested to see how mad people are going to get, but hey, I guess that just comes with the territory. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you liked the video, please make sure to drop a like, and subscribe for videos similar to this one. I'll see you guys later.